okay now we see the another gas that is called gallus oxla gallus oxla so it is a relation between a pressure and temperature okay so it is defined as here yeah, the constant term is value at constant pressure sorry or the relation between t and t means at constant value let's go at constant value the pressure of a given mass of a gas is directly proportional to directly proportional to its absolute temperature its absolute temperature so means uh, simply we can have t proportional to t that is at constant value so normal derivation p equal kt this p by t is equal constant okay so this one this is the gallus oxla so on this relation we will get uh, so p1 by t1 is equal to p2 by t2 or nothing but uh, That is equal to P1 by P2 is equal directly proportional. Therefore, we can write the P1 by P2 is equal that is P1 by T2. Now we see the graphs uh, related to this. So what is the basic equation? That is P proportional to absolute temperature. So by plotting a graph between pressure and absolute temperature, so they are directly proportional. We will get a line passing through the origin. Okay. So pressure. So if you take a uh, okay temperature. Absolute temperature. So for a particular temperature, you got uh, a line here. This is, uh, for example, at uh, with the help of uh, value v one. Okay, so v one value. The graph exponent is there. So we got the points at this position. So it is exactly straight line. Okay. So by changing its value, we are absorbing the same exponent. So by taking v two, we will get the line here. So V three and V four. So now, what is the relation between V one, V two, V three, V four means? Always, if we have a proportional one, so a particular constant value increases, then the value, the curve will be downwards also, just like the Charles law. So what is the relation? If we have V one is less than V two is less than V three is less than V four. Means as the value, the if the value constant, a constant value increases, then the graph will come down towards the uh, x-axis. Okay. Next, so by taking another uh, graph, uh, this uh, apply the logarithm to it. So p here it can be written as p is equal kt. That is log p is equal to log k plus log t. On the y-axis, write the log p. This is y. On the x-axis, take the log t. This is the x-axis. Then it is in the form of y is equal to m x. This plus c. So what is the c in the c plus y intersect? What is m m plus y intersect? That means it is plus one. Oh, means sir. Uh, so it is a positive slope a straight line with positive slope one with intersect c. What is the intercept? Log k is the intercept. Okay, this is the logarithmic graph. Now see, 
the ground between P by T minus S temperature. So we know that uh, P proportional to means uh, so P is equal constant by T, and here we get P by T is equal constant means uh, even by changing the temperature there is no change in the ratio of P by T. So here we get like this. For example, if you are doing the experiment at V1. Now we do the experiment at V2 value. Now what is the relation? Here okay, what relation we will get is here uh, V1 is greater than V2. Okay. That time we get downwards directly proportional to the experiment so downwards from the highest to this call. Okay. There is other possibility of graph that is uh, the pressure one by T. So it is directly proportional to absolute temperature. When for one by T it is inversely proportional. Inversely proportional can always we know the graph. What is that? Near to the bias graph. Okay. So these are the different graphs for. Galois-Jacques law. So in some books it is also given that Galois-Jacques law it is also known as in some books it is also given that Charles law two, but the perfect one is Galois-Jacques law. Okay. Now see the the last gas law, that is Avogadro's law. Okay, it is given by Avogadro. So here the relation between uh, volume and mass. Okay, <coughs> mass, or we can take uh, number of molecules. Or we can take uh, number of moles because all are the depend on one another. So I can do our address to our that is uh, all gases of same value. All gases of same value at uh, Same temperature and pressure. So all gases of same value. Okay, at same temperature and pressure have same number of. Molecules. Okay, here, so what are the constant means? We are comparing the values of different gases, values of different gases, but the similar condition is they are present at the same temperature and pressure. And okay, different different gases, you can all gases. This could if you take any of the gases which are present at the same temperature and pressure, they have same number of the molecule present. For example, CO2, SO2, carbon monoxide, O2. Into whatever the gases, a gas in a for example, a condition they grow near to them, they are present at two atmosphere pressure and 25 Kelvin temperature. And them. So, whatever it is, the gas CO2, SO2, CO2, a gas this for now, so all contains same number of molecules. Here important molecules. So atoms are again they are different. Atoms are different of it. So molecules temperature if, if they any of the gas in the nature, if they are present in the same temperature and pressure, the all molecule all the number of all in all gases, the number of molecules present in them are exactly equal. Okay. So it is also written in other terms that is in simple way that is a
at constant temperature and pressure volume of a gas directly proportional to its number of moles or we can write number of molecules ठीक है ना मॉलिक्यूल्स स्मॉल्स दे आर इंटरडिपेंडेंट एक्जेक्टली सिमिलर तो वन पर डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल लगा रहा है उधर बट ही सो एट कांस्टेंट टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर वैल्यूम ऑफ ए गैस इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू इट्स नंबर ऑफ मोल्स और मॉलिक्यूल्स सो वी प्रोपोर्शनल टू एम इट इज वैल्यूम इट इज नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ओके सो दैट इज दिस कॉल्ड कांस्टेंट इनटू एम Uh, we can write V1 by sorry V by n is equal to constant. So we can write the formula that is V1 by n is equal to V2 by n to R V1 by V2 is equal to n1 by n2. So for calculation we use these formulas. So now, <coughs> so there is a constant given by Avogadro that is known as Avogadro's number. That is known as n. Some books it is also given as n naught. Okay. So then we follow the capital N. So what is our Gardner number? So our Gardner number is at STP it works. Okay, at STP only it is applicable. That is a one mole. One mole equals six point zero two three into ten power twenty three units. Whatever it is. For example, if you take the one dozen. One dozen means that is exactly twelve. That is. What one dozen pencils, apples, whatever it is, one dozen shades. Number is the twelve fixed. In the same way, one mole means six point zero two three into ten power twenty three. That is the fixed one. Sorry, electrons, protons, neutrons, ions, molecules, atoms, whatever it is. One mole number is equal six point zero two three into ten power twenty three. And so this is called Avogadro's number. Actually, the six point zero two three ten power twenty three molecules occupies. Twenty-two point four liters. It is applicable only at the STP. So it is equal twenty-two point four liters. If you take one bar, so it is somewhat different. Okay. So generally here we have taken an STP. STP means uh, the pressure is one atmosphere or seven sixty centimeter of mercury, or uh, seven seventy centimeter of mercury. Uh, 760 millimeter of mercury. This is standard pressure. So, what is standard temperature? Zero Kelvin. So, so what is the standard temperature? That is one atmosphere pressure. The standard temperature is a uh, Okay, excuse me. For the standard temperature, means two seventy three Kelvin or zero degrees Celsius. So at these conditions only, at these conditions only, the one mole is generally taken as a forty two point four liter. If you take one bar, if if you take one bar that is equal to twenty two point seven liters, twenty two point seven liters. But generally we follow the STP. So when you take the bar, means uh, 
in the conditions of NTP. General money flow. We are not using the NTP conditions. NTP conditions means sir, normal temperature and pressure. We are not at all using this NTP condition. But in NTP condition, what is the difference? Is in temperature it is same. Just like in STP, the pressure is taken in terms of bar. That is called NTP. Just uh, one bar ki mani ki atmosphere only 1.01 difference hota hai. So the basis for ne 1 bar occupies 20.7 liters. But in all problems, we always use only STP. Now we can write the relation at STP is. This again comes to the guard bustle that is V proportional to N and uh, we can write to V is equal to it is also given so in the place of N we can write uh, N means what is the number of moles again there is a formula there number of moles equals mass by molar mass or weight by molecular weight okay Mass by molar mass. Okay. Then the mass taken small m, character number molar mass. So in the place of n, we can write uh, constant in the place of number of moles. We can write k into mass by molar mass. Now, what will be the molar mass? So, molar mass equals so K into mass by value. So, in the place of mass by value, we can write uh, the mass by value equal that is density. And so, molar mass equal K into density. So, by removal of this constant and equation is equals, we can write mass, so molar mass directly proportional to D. Means uh, molecular weight, nothing but molar mass is directly proportional to its uh, density. Okay. okay let's see the relation that is uh, at STP. We can write the relation that is one mole of uh, one mole is always equal to how many particles? 6.023 into 10 power 23 units, whatever it is. Particles, molecules, atoms, just whatever it is, we are taking as units. And what is its value? 32.4 liters. Uh, we can take uh, so 22 point approximately. Actually, if you take exact value, that is 22.414. This we are taking 22.4 liters in terms of milliliters. 400 milliliters. So, what is the mass? So, one mole of atoms is always equal to. Is atomic weight. If you take one mole of molecules, so that is equal to its uh, molecular weight. So this is totally perfectly applicable only at STP. Okay, means that with the help of this relation, we convert the one mole into value, one mole into Number of particles, 1 mole into its mass. If you take atoms, atomic weight, molecules, molecular weight. And again we are able to calculate with the help of uh, units. So atoms to atomic weight. Say molecules to molecular weight. So atoms to their value, molecules to its value. Okay, so these are the relations between the moles, mass and molecular mass, atomic mass and their value. Okay.
now we see the derivation for ideal gas